Hey everyone, it is Tuesday, July 1st, 2014. This is Talk To Me Tuesday, number 143. You'll have to excuse my appearance. I'm doing this real quick in between finishing cleaning my turtle tank and getting ready to clean my fish tank so that I can finally get done, rinse off, and get some sleep because I have to work tonight. So let's get started. Last week I showed you one sock. Well, this week I can show you a pair of socks. <laughs> Uh, the only thing left to do, of course, is my usual sew in the ends, and I have like four or five pairs of socks I need to take pictures of, but here they are. This is my pattern. I changed it up a little bit from this pattern, so, oh, I'm losing things. Hold on. Get back up here. Stop. So, there's that. Um, I will hopefully get pictures done over some point in time of all my socks and get them uploaded to Ravelry. So that's one thing that's done. The next thing I completed, I've mentioned a couple times that I was working on a flamingo, which was for the TGIF Ravelry Group's Toy Along Challenge. I did finally get it completed yesterday, so I would like to introduce everyone to Ferdinand Flamingo. Ferdinand is the name chosen by my daughter. He is a very pink flamingo with very long legs, but Ferdinand likes his long legs because he can step over everyone else to get up to the best of the food. So there's Ferdinand. He is cute. I like him. Um, turned out pretty good. So I don't know if I'll make another Ferdinand anytime soon, but you never know. He may end up with a sister or a brother. So there's Ferdinand. I will try and remember to put a link in the description. If I do forget by any chance, all you have to do is just put in, you know, go to Ravelry, put in Flamingo, and you'll find the pattern. The last thing I have to show is something I did last evening. Uh, last year, I showed a pair of, two pairs of crocheted flip-flops that I had done. Well, I absolutely love them, and I've worn them and worn them and worn them to death. <laughs> Uh, they're starting to develop holes in the bottoms because I've worn them so much. So I decided I needed to make something to replace them. And a couple months ago, it was, I don't know how it's pronounced, it's either Mamachi or Mamachi, had a given away free patterns for, I think it was so many likes on her Facebook page. I'm, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was because it came up on Facebook. And I chose a pattern called Slingback Slippers. So yesterday I was looking and I said, yeah, why not? You know, I'll give it a shot. It's actually supposed to be done with cotton yarn. She used Lion Brand cotton. I just chose to use regular worsted weight yarn. It's done with a K crochet hook and two strands held together throughout. And excuse them, I have worn them, but here they are. These are my Slingback Slippers. Like I said, I was not all that worried about color choice or anything because they're only going to be worn around the house. But I absolutely love these. They work up so super quick, so super simple. It took me maybe an hour and a half, and that was what stops and starts because the humidity was so bad. My hand was starting to sweat. I'd have to stop and cool it off before I could continue. But really cool. It is a pay for pattern, but it's well worth paying for if you do because it starts from child sizes, I believe three and four, right up to women's sizes 11, 12. So really cool, really easy. The back strap helps keep them on your feet without a problem. I've been running back and forth here constantly and I just, I love them. They're comfortable, they're soft, they're not too heavy in this weather even with the two strands together. And I love it. And it doesn't cover your foot like a, a full slipper would. These ones, this piece here actually hits the just below my toe line. So that's perfect for me. So I will try and remember to put a link in the description for that. It can also be found on Ravelry. Just put slingback slippers in and you'll find it. Uh, other than that, that's all I have to show crafty couple other things. Uh, TGIF Ravelry Group is doing Christmas in July challenge this month. So you will probably be seeing some Christmassy themed things popping up here and there from me. Which is fine with me because I happen to love Christmas so I don't have a problem with this challenge. 
Uh, not sure what I'm going to make. I've got a couple ideas in mind. So, you know, as they happen, you'll see them. I am going to ask anyone of you who is a wine drinker out there who would normally pop the cork and throw the cork away when you're done, could you please do me a favor and save them? Because there is a pattern that I want to do. It's called cork and ease. They're little elf looking things that are done. And the cork is what, you know, would be the stuffing, we'll say, on it. Um, I am not a wine drinker. I'm not a drinker at all. So I don't have corks. I have like four corks that I found over time, but that's about it. And craft stores want a ridiculous amount of money. So if you would be kind enough to save them, I would gladly reimburse you for shipping costs to get them to me. Uh, just message me and let me know, but I would really appreciate it. The last thing I'm going to share with you is there will no longer be any... I feel like I'm forgetting something. My daughter and I were out doing our grocery shopping Saturday and we popped into Barnes & Noble and I picked up a small three pack of journals. They're not really anything special. Um, was really looking for one for work to track hours and any information I need to keep in there. And the three pack is perfect because one will go for work. One, I don't know what I'm going to do with, but the other one and here it is, I will be using to track any of the projects that I work on. So when I start a project, I'll put the start date, I'll put the name in, any changes if it's knit or crocheted, did I change the hook size, the needle size, the weight of the yarn, whatever. And then when it's completed, I will put that in, write that in as well. And I will put a check mark if I've shown it in a video, and I will put a star next to it if it has had its pictures done and uploaded to wherever they need to be uploaded. So I will no longer be sitting here saying, I feel like I'm forgetting something, because I will be able to go to my handy dandy little book and look and say, that's what I need to show. So, that'll work out great. That'll help me a lot too, because between work and house and whatever else, life is just nuts. So, other than that, I don't have anything else to share with you this week. So, I will say I look forward to watching everyone's videos. Uh, I hope everyone has a wonderfully crafty week and a wonderfully crafty weekend. I have started to watch some videos at work when I've been able to weed them out, but I will not comment at work because I'm watching on the work phone and I'm not going to put my personal information into there. So, but anyway, so... As for me, I'm done. I'm going to go get this edited so I can get it uploaded this evening. As for you, it is good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, whatever it is. I really do hope it's a great one, and I will see you all next week. Bye!